everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what we received in the December Sophie and Toffee Pixie Box, as well as show you how to make some little best friend bear bottle charms. So the December Pixie Box theme was the joy of giving, and the items we received were some open bezel charms, a sanding stick, a reindeer silicon mold, transparent film, a gnome silicon mold, dried flowers, two star bottles, a house shaker mold, two toned glitters, decorative bells, a ribbon silicon mold, colourful ball chains, eye screws, a camera shaker mold, Christmas metal charms, Christmas confetti, Christmas stickers, a star candle holder silicon mold, and finally some green and yellow pigment dye. So now moving on to the tutorial section of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these little kawaii bear star bottle charms. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to be calling these, but we'll just go with that for now. So start off by taking one of the star bottles that came in the box, as well as some polymer clay, and I'm going to be using white polymer clay for my little bears. I rolled a piece into a ball for the bear's head, and then here I'm just creating the body, which is kind of like a teardrop shape with the point cut off. I'm then attaching on a little pink belly, and so I'm making two different bears. I'm making a pink themed one and a blue themed one. I then attached the head onto the body and then next I'm moving on to creating the face. So I added on a little pink muzzle to match the belly and then I'm just using black polymer clay to create the rest of the details on the face. Then for the ears, I made two teardrops of white clay and then I added on some pink clay and I trimmed off the pointed end so that I had a flat surface to work with and I could position these onto the bear's head. Next, I'm adding on the two little front paws and these will be hanging from the bottle, which is why they're positioned like this. And then I'm just going ahead and adding the clay onto the bottle. I'm not securing it in any way just yet because I'm going to do that after baking. As you can see, I also added some little back legs and a little pink tail as well. Next, I'm just adding some flowers on top of its head for extra decoration. And then I went ahead and made a blue version as well, but I popped it on the other side of the bottle just so that they look nice and symmetrical when they're together. Now I'm going ahead and I'm taking the ribbon silicone mold that came in the box, and I'm just pushing some of my polymer clay into one of the ribbon sections and cutting away the excess. And then I just popped this out and I repeated the same step with the pink and blue clay. You can then see here that I took some Sculpey Bacon Bond because I thought maybe I could use this to secure the ribbon onto the bottle, but it actually ended up being really slippery and the ribbon kind of just slid straight off the bottle as soon as I put it on. So I actually ended up wiping it off and then just sticking the clay straight to the bottle like I did with the bear, and I planned on securing it after baking. So at this point, I'm going ahead and baking the glass bottles and the polymer clay in the oven. Of course, first I had to take out the cork so it wouldn't burn. After baking, once my polymer clay was nice and hard, I then very carefully removed the clay pieces from the bottles and then I'm just using a small blob of UV resin on the polymer clay and I'm using this to secure everything together. For some additional decorations, I'm adding on some micro marbles to both of my little bear's heads. So I'm using gold micro marbles for the pink bear and silver micro marbles for the blue bear. And then you can see that I also attached on a little star embellishment next to the navy blue moon that I made out of polymer clay. I then took the dried flowers that came in the box and I'm using a red flower and a blue flower and you can see here that I'm just using a pair of tweezers to gently remove the little petals from the flower and then I'm just placing these inside the bottle for decoration. I also decided to add some micro marbles the same colour that I used as the bears and then also some matching glitter as well.
Then finally, to make my bottles into charms, I'm taking an ice screw and I'm just adding one into each of the corks. And then lastly, I took a matching ball chain, which came in the box, and I just threaded this through the eye pin and looped it up. So here are what both the finished best friend bear charms look like and you can see I've got the pink one and then I also finished off the blue one off camera. I really love the way that these look together and I think they would look super cute as best friend charms and I love how I was kind of able to coordinate the colours on each one using the supplies included. So if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!